If you have persistent heartburn and acid reflux, you may be at risk for the precancerous condition Barrett's esophagus. It's estimated that as many as 2 million people may have Barrett's esophagus in the U.S., but there are no symptoms. Gastroenterologist Dr. Homan Zadeh reveals the danger of this condition and who needs to be screened. Barrett's esophagus is, is a condition that we see in patients with uh, heartburn and acid reflux. What Barrett's is, is, uh, is a change in cells of the esophagus. Uh, so the esophagus, when it's exposed to uh, acid over a long period of time, it undergoes a change in a cellular level. Barrett's esophagus has no symptoms unless you're scoped and unless we see the typical findings that we normally uh, are trained to see in the esophagus. There's no way for one to know if they have a Barrett's esophagus or, or not. If Barrett's is not eliminated, it could turn cancerous. So that's why it is, it is extremely important to uh, know about this condition and to be uh, screened for it. Typically, we know from the, our epidemiological studies that uh, there, there, there are few risk factors that predisposes people to uh, Barrett's esophagus. And those are being uh, uh, prolonged exposure to acid, usually greater than five years. Um, males tend to get it more than females do. Caucasians tend to get it more than uh, other races do. Central obesity is a risk factor and smoking is a risk factor, along with uh, uh, perhaps family history of Barrett's esophagus. Medications have been used to control reflux and heartburn. Typically when we're talking about heartburn, we're talking about GERD and Barrett's esophagus, the cornerstone of treatment is uh, eliminating acid. So that's achieved by using medications. Uh, the modern medications are proton pump inhibitors. Uh, those are Nexiums and Prilosex and Prevacids and so on and so forth. The older generations were the H2 blockers, and those were the Zantax and the Pepsids and the Tagamids. But none of that really cures Barrett's esophagus. Dr. Zadeh talks about a new procedure for treating Barrett's esophagus. What we have now and what we could do is actually burn off a layer of Barrett's esophagus during our uh, endoscopic treatments. We have specialized catheters that uh, we could apply short bursts of energy to, which heats up that catheter, that literally burns a thin layer of Barrett's esophagus in the, in the area that we're working in the esophagus itself. And the idea being that once this area has uh, burnt and it's been ablated, it will slough off and there would be new uh, cells regenerated underneath this Barrett's mucosa. So this procedure takes about half an hour or so to do, and it requires uh, multiple sessions. Results for this procedure have been remarkable. The cure rate for this is at least 95%, and uh, it depends on certain variables, such as the length of the, uh, the Barrett's that is involved, but as a general rule, once Barris is diagnosed, there's no reason for one not to undergo this treatment and after three or four sessions uh, to completely eliminate the Barris esophagus that they suffer from. Mm -hmm.